how do you network at an in-person conference? It might have been well over a year since you have been at an in-person event where you're networking, you're sharing experiences with people, and this could be the first time that your industry trade association has even held an in-person conference in nearly two years. And you wanna make sure that you maximize the networking. We have proven over the last couple of years that we can deliver content over a lot of online platforms. But the serendipity of human connection, those magical hallway conversations where you come together with somebody, share a conversation, and it changes the, the entire direction of your entire experience at the conference. Those are rare and they're magical and they don't always happen by accident. Yes, I call it serendipity of networking, but you can have planned serendipity. When you're gonna be at an in-person conference, you need to make sure that you are making yourself ready to network, especially if you're not an extrovert who thrives on being in sort of those, those social situations. If you're a little bit more introverted, and even long before you know, we were put on social distancing, even if long before that you were somebody who dreaded going to those big cocktail parties, and now after a year and a half or more away from them, you're maybe doubly anxious about it, you need to think about what can I do to properly network. And there are so many things that you can do. The first thing to do is have a plan. Know who it is who's going to be at the conference who you would like to meet. And if you don't know an exact person by name, think about the types of people and what companies they come from so that you can be on the outlook for people who will cross your paths. The second thing to do is make sure that you are a conversation starter. Now, it used to be 10 years ago that when you would go to a big conference and you would go into a breakout room and you'd sit down in the chairs, somebody would sit two or three chairs away from you and then maybe somebody else would sit in the row in front of you and you'd all just sit there and eventually somebody would say, where are you from? Or what do you think about this speaker we're about to see? But now everybody comes into those breakout rooms and they take out their phone and they stare down at their phone and they don't look up. And of course, nobody wants to interrupt somebody who looks busy so nobody says anything. So those magical moments, that serendipity of networking that used to be so much more prevalent is now often stifled by the use of technology. So you have to look for ways to start conversations with people. I was recently at a conference and there was a long coffee cart line. People wanted to get their caffeine in the morning. And yet everybody, about 30 people deep, was staring at their phones. And I turned to the person behind me and started a conversation. And what happened was, is they were so glad I talked to them. And we talked about how everyone else in the line wasn't having a conversation. It's just a missed opportunity. The same thing is true when you go into the lunchroom, maybe you go through a buffet, you fill your plate with food, and then you go and sit at a table. Have you ever done that and everyone at the table just looks at their phones and doesn't talk to each other? Here's a good tip. Be the person who is that conversation starter and say, hey, we're all here at the conference. We probably want to meet each other. Why don't we go around the table and introduce ourselves? Now, sometimes people go, Tom, that would be, that would be so weird. Well, maybe, but if you're on the receiving end of that and you're a little bit more shy, you're going to love that somebody started that conversation. And then the other thing to remember is that networking doesn't really happen at a networking event. The networking event itself is just a tool so that you can meet somebody. Really building a long-term and mutually beneficial relationship with somebody, the actual networking, takes place long after the event. It takes seven to 10 interactions with people before you ever even start to develop some sort of a, of a camaraderie or a friendship. So don't expect that you're gonna meet someone at the conference and then fast forward to where you're referring them business, they're referring you business. People who think that's gonna happen that way are, are often the people who are really disappointed with networking. Realize that when you attend a conference, it's simply a tool to get to meet a bunch of people. And it's what you do when you get home that matters. So collect business cards or get their digital link. But if you do that, keep a list somewhere in your phone or on a piece of paper of who you met. Because the great thing about when we used to pass out business cards is you could come home with that stack of cards and you could decide, yes, I want to follow up. Maybe I want to follow up or no, there's no reason to keep in touch with this person. However, now we just click everybody's link. Maybe we do LinkedIn, maybe we do something else, and everyone looks the same. And a week later, when it's time to start following up, you don't even remember who you met or where their name is in the phone. So you have to keep records of who it is you met and who you want to follow up with. 
I'm still actually a big fan of using business cards, but not everybody will do that. So you have to come up with your own system to make sure that you can own the follow-up after the event. So I am a big believer that networking is serendipitous, and at the same time, it is something that you can plan for. So come into the event knowing that you're there to meet people. When we survey people about why did you come to an event like this, there's two main answers. They come to learn and they come for the networking opportunities. Well, as I said earlier in this video, you can get your learning through online. There are lots of ways to gather info between YouTube, online conferences, podcasts, etc. But if you really want to stand out, make connections, and build your reputation in a human-to-human -human manner, you have to be at the event and you have to be engaged with all the people. I have a lot of resources on my YouTube channel and I'm just starting to grow it and, and put more up. So subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can do it right down there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and go check out some of the other videos. There's a whole series called The ABCs of Conference Networking. And if you watch them, they're all three or four minutes long. A couple of them might give you an inspiration. And if your organization is planning an event and you wanna make sure that the networking is amazing, give me a call. I'm happy to share tips with you and Maybe I could serve as your opening keynote speaker or your master of ceremonies. I'm known as the conference catalyst because I really believe that when people come together at a conference, that magic happens where they can meet people, those hallway conversations, those serendipitous encounters that can change your life. The next time you walk into a conference room, a general session room, or a breakout session, ask yourself, is there someone seated three or four seats away? who could be the one person who, if I had a conversation with them, they could change my entire career. Heck, they could change my entire life. Maybe our companies could do business together. Maybe I could hire them or they could hire me for my next opportunity. If you don't start a conversation, if you don't talk to people at these events, then you're just like ships that cross in the night. And maybe, maybe you'll meet, maybe something will become of it. But the reality is, is if you don't take ownership of the networking, if you're not out there talking to people, the odds of you walking away with those networking opportunities that you desired, the odds are really small. So take, take charge, be in control of your networking at the next event, and make sure if you're planning the event that the culture of your conference is one of connections.